Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people, and welcome back to this video. So, some of you might remember that a while back, I made a video called Undertale Characters as Pokemon Cards. And what I did in that video was I used an app to turn Undertale Characters into Pokemon Cards. And you guys seemed to really like that video. So, I decided I would take more Undertale characters and make them into cards. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, but before we get into this video, I want to take some time to do my first ever shoutout time! So, now at the beginning of all my videos, I am going to do two shoutouts to two people. And I'm going to put their links to their channels in the description, and then I'm going to have you guys go check them out. So, the two shoutouts I want to give today are to Hypersonic Productions and my friend Dragon Doge. Hypersonic Productions was my 100th subscriber, and Dragon Doge has been my real life friend for four years. So, yeah, I wanted to take the time to give those two some shoutouts. If you want a shout out in the next video, leave a link to your channel in the comments, and I might just give you a shout out. But now, finally, let's get into the video. And kicking off this showcase of cards, who else but the good old robot boy, Metaton. So this is actually Metaton EX. I am sorry I didn't put that in the name. But uh, take a moment to take in information from this card. So let's start with the HP. He's got 190 HP. He is a steel type. Got a cool little background there. He is a stage one, evolves from the regular Metaton. Um, by the way, I do not own any of the pictures in this video. If the people who do own them are watching this video, you did a great job. And I love all the pictures, especially one later in the video. Anyway, for the attacks, we have Dramatic Pose. 50 damage, 2 fairy energies. All damage done by the opponent in the next turn is reduced by 30. And then we got triple kick, 30 damage, flip 3 coins. This attack does 30 more damage for each heads. So in total, you could wind up doing 120 damage, which is a pretty powerful attack. Moving on to the next card, we have everybody's favorite spider, Muffet. With uh, 90 HP, a psychic type basic and the ability pay the price the opponent can discard two items from their hand if they do Muffet's attacks do 20 less damage for two turns so that's really more something for the opponent than Muffet but I thought it would be a cool little feature and then for her attack lunchtime does 70 damage if the opponent has any items at their hand that can heal Pokemon in any way, this attack does 40 more damage. If you're wondering why it's called Lunchtime, in the Muffet fight, she has this spider beast thing that will attack you, and throughout the fight she says, Oh, it's breakfast time, or oh, it's lunchtime, or dinner time, and that's when the monster comes out. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next card. Alright, this next card is a bit of a joke, but we have Gaster with 999 HP. I would have made it higher, but it's not allowed to go any higher than that. A stage 2 evolves from blank, a dark type. Um, the first attack, darker yet darker, 50 damage, 2 dark energies, 1 normal energy, um, or colorless energy I mean. For the next 5 turns, deal 20 more damage to the opponent's Pokemon. And then we have Call of the Void, 90 damage and 4 dark energies. Swap the opponent's Pokemon with a Pokemon from their hand or their bench, and then you deal 50 damage to the Pokemon that you have brought out. Pretty powerful attack. And let's move on to the next card. Alright, for the second to last card, we have one of my favorites, Monster Kid. 50 HP, a fire type, obviously a basic. Spark, 20 damage, 1 fire energy, 
flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 damage to the Pokemon in the opponent's bench with the most remaining HP. And then we have Stomp, 40 damage, 2 colorless energies. The opponent's Pokemon is now paralyzed. And for his description, a lack of arms enhances the abilities in his legs. One of my favorite cards that I have made. The picture is pretty cute to whoever made it. Uh, you did a great job. Let's go ahead and move on to the next card. For the fifth and final card, we have Kara. It's a bit of a debate on how to pronounce it, but I pronounce it Kara because I'm pretty sure that's the correct pronunciation. Anyway, she has 270 HP, Dark type. Stage 1 evolves from Frisk. The ability in control, you may choose what attacks or abilities the opponent's Pokemon uses for 5 turns. You may choose their attack 5 times. And then the actual attack is called, wouldn't you know it, attack! 100 damage, 1 dark energy, 2 steel energy. If the opponent has a full bench, this attack does 70 more damage. If the opponent has an empty bench, this attack does 70 less damage. And I think that will do it for our Undertale character Pokemon cards. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing, check out the links in the description to the channels of the shoutouts. Uh, if you want a shoutout in the next video, leave a link to your channel in the comments. I will check it out, and if I think you deserve a shoutout, I will give you one. There can be two shoutouts per video. Um, I'm starting that now. Shoutout time. That's what I'm gonna call it. If you have any better names for it, um, leave some suggestions. Thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I'm going to make more 100 subscriber specials to make up for the time it took me to make this one. If you enjoyed this video, again, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.